Alright, hello guys, this is Angel Gaming and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 and this is part 2. Now, I actually did another mission um, by mistake um, and I also had trouble trying to see the guidelines because the live streams covering it so I actually have my laptop right next to me so I can see what I have to do so let's go mission free Mr. Morgan we're okay we have a few cans of food and a rabbit for what 10 12 people when I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> here. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Ooh. Use a gun. And we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right. Let's head out. Oh, ah. shit. <laughs> My horse is a little bit hard to tame. Why am I so far? Yeah, that's better. All right, let's go. Up, I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. So much You'll speed of companion. I, just can't pull oh, I already know that. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Okay, so I don't know what that all of that was about. Cool. <laughs> oh come on, no horsey, stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Sort of see, it's like jumping. You're need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Oh. The gun will scare everything around. No, use the bow. I yeah, I know, I know. I gotta go. Um. Where's the bow? Come on. Yas. Wait. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, now I sort of see the tracks. You can see them shining. Seriously, look, right trigger. Now, what the fuck? So that happened when I kept clicking it. Wait, what? Attract an animal's attention by selecting cool what I'm at. This is. will give you a chance to clean of a clean kill as the head is raised before playing. That was confusing as fuck. Not that way. That's where the deal went. Yeah, the deer is this way. There it is. I don't. Well done. Seriously, that's wrong. I'm, I was. I'm pressing the trigger like lots of times. Now nothing better be coming out to try to kill me. But this this is really cool though to go hunting like this and to actually carry deer. That's pretty cool. Look at this butt though. <laughs> I think I got a headshot on that one too. Yeah, I I named my horse um Patches. Not bad, boy. Alright, boy. Hmm. Holy shit, that's a bear in front of me. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. I'm scared a bear's gonna come up behind me. Where'd it go? Cut up here, off the trail. Bear has spooked your b horses. What the fuck? spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it is. Now shoot, get lost. Yeah. See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? 
It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. Aww. Yay, skinning. Come on. This really isn't the job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. I like that guy. He's attractive. Skin. Ooh. Ooh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get up. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <coughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Few days later. Ooh. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Yeah. OMG, that's Jack. Oh. See you, John. Oh. See you now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of that. That's Jack with his little baby. Idiot, we all yeah. know it. Now, railway man. Bill. Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was locked. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to run! Ooh, that horse has blue eyes. Give us nice. the advantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be made to move past. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Done fast. 
then I want to have a look where we actually are. Wait, so where's the camp? But anyway, yeah, all the way down here. Ooh, ow. Now it's thawing before anyone gets her after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Mike Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela. What about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. <laughs> We're like in a line. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Can I help a little? Yeah. Alright. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. There we go. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Oh no. Oh, you have gotta be kidding me. Where did you find that? More who said it was fine. So my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? God. Why aren't we running on our horses? Oh, that's why. <gasps> we shit. Oh, one went down. Oh shit. Back I go.
Why can I not sh for fuck's sake? Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Boys in there, might want to take a step back. See. Now light the fuse. Here we go. This, then. Uh, run away. Like you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. Search that train. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, oh yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Just gonna stand there. No, this looks like a lockbox. These just seem to be contracts. Oh, have you looked down the end there? I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bear bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? Train? Yeah, get it out of here. About them. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay, get on the train, quick, only. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. We won't kill a soul. I swear. So what's this draw? Oh. I hear so much as a footstep from this car. You'll end up like all your friends out here.
getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. This is like so beautiful. And the music the music's good too. So useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they want in trouble, ah, uh, Indians. Parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them. It was every blade killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Hurry it up. We've got work to do. Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? 
We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our house, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? I... Yeah, it's a long story. So, John Marston and Arthur had beef. I'm going to shout out to this nest. It's so beautiful. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in? Look at the foxes. This is so beautiful. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. I love this place. I love it. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone 
to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Shave? I have to shave my face? But I like the luscious beard.